Gosling's arrived in Bermuda in 1806, actually by accident. Uh, my five great grandfather, William Gosling, had a liquor store in London. And William wanted to expand his business by opening up a store in Virginia. And so he chartered a ship named the Mercury, loaded it with 10,000 pounds sterling worth of wines and spirits. And being the brave guy that he was, he stayed back in London and put his son James on board to make the voyage. Anyway, after sitting 96 days in Bacom Seas, the charter literally ran out and James got unceremoniously dumped in the only port between London and Virginia, this little rock out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean called Bermuda. And James realized that there was nobody in the wines and spirits business at that time in Bermuda. The British Navy used it as a frequent stop. Uh, to make a long story short, he took his cargo and about 100 yards from where he was uh, unloaded, he got a license to sell and we've been there ever since. Around 1850, after much experimentation with the aging and blending of various different distillates, this wonderful rum product, which we now know as Gosling's Black Seal, was originated. Although it's a, a closely guarded uh, secret recipe, it is a blend of pot still and continuous still distillates that are aged in charred American white oak barrels, uh, used bourbon barrels to be exact. and. Uh, that rare rum is also one of the few that have been awarded the Platinum Medal at the World Spirits Championship, something that we're extremely proud of, uh, scoring 96 out of 100. Gosling's is today Bermuda's oldest business, 204 years old. It's wholly owned by the Gosling family, currently being operated by the seventh generation, and uh, proud to say that the eighth generation is now making its way into the business as well. Gosling's rums are actually Bermuda's largest export of a consumable product. I've never known really anything else but to work in a family business. There are certain pressures that come along with that. Um, your name is on the bottle. But what that does is that ensures that we are going to focus first on quality and it's not on quantity. Uh, that's why the product can be rare in some areas. <laughs> We're not in any rush to break any sales records. Again, it really is important that we do protect the family name and protect future generations and really deliver a quality product.